Welcome to Newsletter Guru TV, your show with a boatload of smart marketing and business building advice and a little fun along the way. This episode of Newsletter Guru TV is brought to you by Jim Palmer's No Hassle Social Media, the ultimate done-for-you content program. Finally, a fast and easy way to keep feeding your content is king marketing machine. No Hassle Social Media makes it fast and easy to build profitable client relationships using the power of social media, blogs, video, and article marketing. Check it out today at www.nohasslesocialmedia.com. Hey everybody, Jim Palmer, the News Editor Guru and your dream business coach, and I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. It's a Monday. I like to come down to my boat on Mondays and um, just relax, but actually today I'm not totally relaxed because I'm flying out in a couple days to Chicago to speak at my good friend Tony Rubleski and Paul Guyon's Ultimate Mastermind Summit. I'm very excited about that. I've actually got the opening slot setting the tone on how important mindset is and for success and things like that. A couple people that I coach in my coaching program were asking me about speaking and um, of course I did a whole speaking segment with the great Brad Zalas at Dream Business Academy. Brad, man, he knocked it right out of the park. Grand Slam home run, gave you some great strategies. One of the things that actually holds people back is, you know, fear of public speaking, not knowing what to say, and things like that. I do a lot of speaking. I do my own events and things like that. But one of the things that I think every person you ask who's a speaker will say is practice. So I've got a, I've got several different talks that I give, maybe, well, several. i got three or four that I usually give. The one that I'm going to do for... Um, for Tony and Paul is about the mindset because you know no matter how successful you are, no matter how um, really advanced you are with the certain skill that you're bringing to the marketplace, the skill or talent, your mindset is what's going to determine how far and how fast you're going to climb the ladder of success or your entrepreneurial journey to success. Anyway, so I'm going to talk about mindset, but you don't want to be you're going to talk about mindset because people are going to go. You know, they're going to yawn out. So you want to do it in a sort of an entertaining way. You want to give some good content. You want to share, be introspective, and all those different things. But, you know, it occurred to me was because I'm just wrapping up here just about an hour ago. I got down here and I went through my presentation. And that is the key that I wanted to share with you. No matter how much you speak, no matter how much you give, your normal presentation, no matter how well you know your topic, you want to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Now, practice makes perfect? Maybe. Probably not. Nobody's perfect and nobody's going to be perfect. I'm going to tell you the big reason that I practice a lot. And to be honest with you, I practice, I, I, re, I kind of constructed the talk that I'm going to give at the Ultimate Mastermind Summit. Um, last week, I ran through it, I think, Thursday and Friday. Spent the weekend, um, I think I was down here in the boat, yep. And then today, uh, I ran through it this morning, and I ran through it again when I got down in the boat. And I think I'll do it one more time tomorrow, and then I'm done. But I want to tell you, it's not to, it's not to um, rehearse it for perfection. It's not to even rehearse it so I can just talk it without notes, you know, to memorize it, because I don't memorize things. But... I know, the, I know the bullet points I want to hit. Here's the reason I practice a lot. It makes me a better speaker, number one, and I'm always, I've, you, you know in my videos, i got the little voice in my head saying something. Well, when I'm rehearsing, even though I know exactly what I'm going to say next, I know the next five bullets I want to share with you, the little voice in my head will always say, oh my gosh, you should have put this in. You should have ha added that. And a lot of times I have to say, only got an hour, can't do that. But sometimes I go, oh, that's amazing. And this morning I was rehearsing. And when I say rehearse, I actually do it. I imagine here in the opening, the people introducing me. I imagine going up on stage. I do a couple things when I hit the stage. And then I run through a solid hour, man. I don't just go certain points of it. I want to know exactly how long it's going to take me because you've got to respect the time slot they give you. You don't want to go over. So... But each time I do it, I think of something else that can make the presentation, which I think is already a home run, just a little bit better. And so I just did it one more time here in my boat, getting ready to have lunch. But I thought, you know what? Turn to the video. I got a video to do tomorrow anyway, right? And I wanted to share that with you. When you practice over and over again, it does make you better. It helps you know your subject matter, which in and of itself eases any kind of anxiety if you have that. But it's going to keep, based on the inner voice, your subconscious mind, whatever, you're going to keep tweaking it and making it a little bit better. And in business, when you get successful, you keep looking for the one extra thing, the one little... Dan Kennedy says, little hinges swing big doors. So you're looking for one little thing 
that's going to take it up a notch or two and I just came up with one I'm not going to share it with you now because I'm thinking that there are going to be people that are watch this video before I go speak in Chicago on Thursday morning but anyway that's it so if you're a speaker practice 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 and don't just practice segments come back and do something else I set aside an hour close all all the noise makers all the all the distractions and I actually run through it front to back I imagine I'm guessing Tony will introduce me and you run right through it and don't stop and when you do that you keep finding these little ways to keep taking something that's really good and make it even better and so that's not only good for you it's a great thing for all the people in the audience who are going to hear you that have come to be you know to learn from you hopefully be inspired and things like that so practice 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 that's why you practice all right if you're a speaker if you're looking to be a speaker, you found some value, or if you found some value in this anyway, I'd appreciate it very much, and I would ask you to click the share button, click the like button, put this on your news feed on Facebook, and share this with other entrepreneurs before the day's out. I'd appreciate it if you would look for ways that you could do random acts of kindness, just one a day by everybody, whatever it is, just one a day, and just keep doing it. That gets you in the habit if you do it once a day, by the way. And it's just going to make the world a much nicer place if we're all a little bit nicer to each other. Would you agree? Yes. And be sure to check out Stick Like Glue Radio. It's the only podcast dedicated to helping you create an everlasting bond with your customers so they stay longer, spend more, and refer more. And those are all great things in your business. My name's Jim Palmer. I've got a little bit of lunch I'm going to eat. Then I'm going to actually relax for the afternoon. But I think I'm going to run by this or run through this presentation one more time tomorrow. And then we'll be off on uh, Wednesday flying to Chicago to light up the stage, 8.45, Thursday morning. My name is Jim Palmer, the News Editor Guru always, but I'm your dream business coach, and I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. If you're new to Newsletter Guru TV, we've been on the air every single week for five years. Go back. There's somewhere as you're watching this. I guess it's over here on the on the on your right, my left side of the page. If you're on Newsletter Guru TV, there's a whole episode guide. Check out. There's a lot of good things you can learn and, and watch from. So as I said, I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. Until this time next week, another great episode of Newsletter Guru TV. You take good care.